Well, let's talk politics. Of course, we have to ahead of next year's uh, national elections. The ANC deputy president, it's Paul Mashatile, is out in the free state today. It's part of this review of the election manifesto, but from 2019. Uh, what have they changed? What are their plans ahead of next year's elections? The ANC recently firing about 20 leaders in the province uh, suspected they were working with the African Congress for Transformation Party. That was led by former ANC Secretary General Ace Makhoshule. Let's head back down to the Free State Den. Maloka Maloto is there for us uh, and joining us now. And the ghost of Ace Makhoshule still haunting the ANC, Maloko. Hello, Gareth Edwards. Well, the silly season, as we would always say in the newsroom, has unofficially begun. That moment where political parties across a different ideological orientation are beginning to try and impress the voters ahead of next year's elections. And we are in a Mangawung. This is where the African National Congress was founded several years ago. And today, the party's number two, Paul Mashatile, is going to be addressing a rally. It's a provincial rally, according to my understanding, wherein they are going to be reviewing the promises that they had made in uh, the 2019 elections. And, of course, they have brought it into a township called uh, Tabanchu. But let's speak to the ANC itself so that they can talk for themselves. I'm joined by Jabumba Lula. He is the spokesperson of the ANC in the Free State. Brajay, thank you so much for your time. Maybe let's start here before we can even get into other matters. Ordinarily, we tend to see political parties, particularly so-called big parties, taking their rallies to big open stadiums. I mean, you are bringing uh, people into a marquee when it's a rally. Is that uh, normal, according to you? Actually, Tate uh, uh, this is a regional rally. We have already done the provincial rally uh, in the region of uh, Lijolikutu and Velkom, Zogabalo Stadium. Uh, it was a uh, in a normal setting, uh, as we used to know the rallies. Uh, these ones are regional. Uh, it is Tabansu today. It is Kwakwa, uh, Tabo uh, Mufutsanyana region. Uh, it is also Fezile Dabi region. The approach we are taking as the African National Congress, it is not only to come and deliver speeches to the people. For these people to come here, there was a thorough interaction through the branches of the ANC uh, talking to different sectors, the youth, the elderly, the churches, uh, you name them, yeah. uh, so that we uh, are not only imposing uh, the manifestos or the vision of the ANC, yeah. how it plans to take the country forward, but such a vision uh, must be born out of the interaction with the people. Okay. So that is the approach that the African National Congress is taking. That's why we are now at the regional level. Fair enough. We will hear more from uh, your Deputy President, Paul Mashatile, when he outlines all those uh, promises for next year. But let's talk about your province. I understand that uh, as the ANC, you recently fired over 20 mem members, some of whom I, I understand were branch leaders, because you suspect they are working or they were working while in the ANC with the former Secretary General uh, of the ANC, Isma Khashule, who has uh, recently founded his party. W what evidence do you have that they were working with him? Uh, it was really a, 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 a difficult decision to take, uh, Moloko. We really want to keep members of the ANC within the party. But uh, what else do, can we do when people have openly declared and have been seen uh, to participate in the activities of this new party? Our region uh, in Ligueliputa, because that's where the 20 were fired, they also did reach out to them, tried to speak to them, and they were quite very clear also when they did a press conference that they interacted with these comrades, they tried to talk to them and also listen uh, what were their concerns. Because uh, ANC is a democratic organization. Yeah. People are allowed to express their views even if they are dissenting, yeah. and strongly so. Now, they were quite very clear that they don't want to stay in the ANC anymore. And there's nothing we could do to force people to stay in the organization yeah. when they have taken a position uh, to work against it. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think uh, the current chairperson of the ANC, Mr. Mkolesi Dukwana, comes from Lijuali Buta. That's his region, right? right? And if indeed all these people come from his region, worked 
with uh, the person who previously led the ANC here as uh, chairperson, who's been expelled. Does it mean, therefore, that if you juxtapose the influence of the two leaders, Nkolisi Dukwana and Ace Mahashule, that perhaps Ace Mahashule still holds sway and influence within the ANC more than the incumbent? No, not really, Ntatemuluk. Ntatem Nkolisi Dukwana is a provincial leader, uh, as we speak. There are structures uh, in the place where he comes from that must be responsible and are responsible for the affairs uh, of the organization. We don't see it that way, but uh, it is the sway uh, of influence. Uh, just that it happened that uh, 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 the region was the first to come up uh, and, 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 and announce the steps that they have taken. And I think, uh, look, we can't allow a situation where the ANC is used as a host for a virus that is destroying it from the inside. When people have taken a position that uh, they are not going to do anything that is going to advance the vision and objectives of the ANC, uh, we can't allow ourselves to be weakened uh, when we can really openly see. Okay. You say Lijoli Buzo was the first region to take that drastic decision. Are you expecting more people to be fired, people that you suspect are still working with him? We are very clear that uh, our influence must obtain at all given time, everywhere in the free state. Mm -hmm. And we work very hard to make sure that we are more influential yeah. than to use discipline as a measure of ensuring that the hegemony of the ANC is entrenched in the free state. If there are people that still want to join this party, uh, we can't stand on their way. Yeah. But we take our responsibility very seriously as the African National Congress that first and foremost, we need to be out there and our voice needs to be heard and we need to rely uh, on our influence as an organization based on our policies, based on our resilience, based on our history. Yeah, we are in Mangawung today, and we have seen over the past few months factional battles really playing themselves out in this particular region, where some of your councillors defied the party on so many occasions, and we have even seen parallel conferences of the ANC being held here, and you even had to fire about eight, if not nine, of your councillors in Mangawung. You managed to win at least four wards which were contested the other four i understand were pr positions have you how have you been able perhaps to stabilize this because recently i see you have elected your own speaker you have removed the da speaker how did you make progress if that is progress anyway a great progress has been made in tatemulogo the organization has stabilized in mangawu like you correctly put it we are already from the by-elections where we contested four wards the African National Congress in Mangawu has decisively won all the four wards. We are continuing to do work, especially at the level of the municipality, to stabilize it. As you correctly put it, we now have got the ANC speaker elected, and uh, we are also continuing at the level of administration uh, to now employ people at a high level. Uh, interviews have been completed uh, to employ a new municipal manager. Yeah. But in the meantime, Brajay, the, your deployees don't seem to be in charge there in terms of providing services. The municipality just last week admitted that they were even failing to collect rubbish because some of the trucks did not even have fuel. I mean, you don't expect that from the only metro in the province. There are challenges uh, that, uh, that uh, still remain in Mangawu, but I can really say that great progress has been made. Uh, if you go around town now, you'll realize that uh, a lot of portals have been uh, closed. That were quite a big concern. Uh, in various areas and sections and wards uh, in Mangawu, roads are being uh, corrected, they are being improved. Uh, challenges are still there. We, 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 we are quite aware of that. But great work uh, continues to be done. Right. And we are quite confident that uh, quite soon uh, Mangawung would be known for what it used to be, a city of roses. All right, Rajay, thank you so much. I'm told you have to go. Let me release you. Jabumba Lula speaks for the African National Congress in the Free State. We, this program was supposed to start at 10 o'clock, but I don't remember any rally of the ANC in the country starting 
on time. Nothing surprising there. And of course, uh, the deputy president of the ANC, we understand he's in town already. But when it comes to the numbers, Gareth, they have uh, put a, a marquee. You would think that a rally should be something that happens in an open stadium where the party would be flexing its numbers, its popularity, doesn't seem to be the case here because um, as much as he says it's a regional uh, rally, the effect of the matter is that uh, if that is the case, therefore you would think that they would rely on people who live in the surrounding areas to come in large numbers and uh, attend uh, this particular rally. We will hear from the party's deputy president, Paul Mashatile, as to exactly what is the party offering not only to the people of the free state, but to the people of South Africa. Yeah, and I suppose we'll have to wait to see what time that actually happens. As well, as you say, now an hour and ten minutes uh, late as well. No clear indication exactly when it's supposed to start, but a very patient man is our Maloko Maloto. He'll be there when it eventually does get underway. We'll go back to him later uh, in what is a very hot free state.